Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chad, I'm Vertal Taylor, and I'm currently working on a cropped hoodie tutorial. I'm gonna try and make a pattern for it, make it available online for you guys. Really try and, you know, share the love, share the, share the pattern, share the expertise. Um, but in the meantime, I'm gonna show you guys a really quick and easy way to make a hoodie. Hoodies, of course, need no introduction. They're, they're like quintessential part of any wardrobe. Everybody has hoodies. They come in a whole bunch of different shapes and sizes. It's just a really quick, an easy way to show you guys how to make one. You only need two things. Uh, one is a crew neck and the other is some fabric and that's that's pretty much it. All right, that's enough talking. Let's get to sewing. I'm at Black Market, a popular thrift spot in Toronto, and we're gonna be grabbing a crew neck, which will be the starting off point for this project. It's a pretty nice crew neck, 100% cotton, a bit of a boxy fit, and it does have a tiny hole in the front, but we'll fix that later. For the hood, we're gonna be using this wool cotton blend knit fabric. And you can see that tiny hole on the front there. We wanna make sure that we use a knit fabric rather than a woven fabric because it has more stretch to it. I tried to get the exact color match and I did get pretty close, but it's gonna be good enough for me. Taking a closer look at the fabric, it's really soft and you can see the nice pattern of the weave. It's mostly blue, but it has these cool flecks of white in it. Okay, so we have the fabric and the crew neck. Let's take a look at some of the hood designs that we can use. First up, we have a pretty standard hood that you can see in most hoodies. It's made up of four panels, two on the inside and two on the outside. And you can see it has one seam going down the back. Compared to the second option, which is more uncommon, made up of three panels and it has two seams going down the back. I ended up choosing the first option because it's way more common for most people. Pretty much everybody has a version of this hoodie in their closet. Taking one more look at the fabric of the hood, this particular weave is a one-way stretch knit, meaning that it only stretches in one direction. When I pull on the fabric, you can see it stretches way more in one direction than it does in the other. Not all knits are like this, and some stretch in both directions equally. When making the hood though, you wanna make sure that the stretch is in the depth of the hood rather than the length. Of course, if it stretches in both directions, then that doesn't really matter. Starting off, I'll measure the length of the neck opening, and we'll use this as a guide to how large to make the hood. Cutting out the hood is next, and to do this, I've doubled up the fabric and we can lay the hood right on top of the fabric, like this. Now we'll take some tailor's chalk and draw out the shape of the hood and add a half inch of seam allowance on all sides. I'm adding a little bit more to the front of the hood to make it a little bit larger, but you don't have to do this. Once that's cut out, we can lay it out on another doubled piece of fabric and cut it out again. With everything cut out, we now have four hood panels. And we'll sew both pairs together along the large curve on the back at a half inch seam allowance. With that stitch done on both pairs, we can line up the seams at the top of the hood and stitch down both sides of the hood. After that, let's flip the hood inside out and iron it. And that's pretty much done here. You can just see that all the seams are lined up. One more thing we can add, which is totally optional, is add some drawstrings to the hood. Folding the hood in half, we can use chalk to mark out the place for buttonholes. After sewing the buttonholes and opening them up with a seam ripper, I'll just iron them down flat. And these buttonholes will serve as openings for our drawstrings in the future. You can also use grommets if you have them. Next up, we'll just add some pins to secure both layers of the hood together and add a stitch sewing them both together. And I just made the stitch one inch from the edge. And I also overlocked the raw edge of the hood so that it won't fray. Okay, the hood is officially done. Now we just have to secure the hood to the crew neck. Folding the crew neck in half along the neckline, we'll use chalk to mark out the center back of the crew neck 
and line that up with the center back of the hood. And securing the hood with pins all the way around the neck opening of the crew neck. And now we'll just stitch them together. I use three stitches for extra strength, but one stitch will just do fine. And this is what it looks like on body. One more thing to add, which is totally optional, is the drawstring for the hood to tighten it. I recommend using a shoelace or something like that for the string. And you can use a safety pin to just fish the drawstring through the buttonholes that we made. I use a string that frays, so unfortunately I do have to burn the ends. If you do end up doing this, make sure you do it safely, don't set anything on fire. <laughs> And lastly, lastly, I'm just adding these circle designs to the hoodie to kind of hide that tiny hole in the front. Of course, totally optional, and I just like how it looks. And we're back. This was a pretty quick and simple tutorial about how to make a hoodie. Crew neck plus hood equals, <laughs> equals hoodie. This is what the hoodie looks like. Um, it's really nice and soft. Um, one thing I do want to bring up is, yeah, I did. They did have like this really, it wasn't big. It was like a tiny hole in the front here. So instead of just stitching it um, regularly, I just kind of integrated into like these circle designs. I don't know, it was just something that came to me. So I just decided to do it and I added another one here to kind of balance it out the one on the side here. Now, if I were to do this project again, one thing I would recommend is maybe get a little bit more of a stiffer material for the hood. I was just going purely on feel and how soft it was. This is a wool, I think a wool cotton blend. So it's really, really nice and soft. However, it just doesn't have the, like the stiffness of a hoodie. Like when you're putting the hood off or even when you have it on, it kind of just like molds to your head because it's that soft. Ideally, I'd want something that's a little bit more structured um but this is fine it's cool it's soft it's nice um i'm just thinking like when you take it off your hood you can even see it kind of just like falls there dangles there it doesn't really doesn't really do much but you know live and learn also of course as i already said you can make a whole bunch of different hood designs as well too this is just a pretty simple two panel design as i showed you before they're like three panel more technical hood designs that you could attach to this as well too but it's just a really nice quick and simple way to uh yeah add a hood to a crew neck it'd also be cool to make this like detachable as well too like maybe i could do one where the hood has like buttons or like a zipper or something so you can like detach it off that could also be something i do in the future but right now i like how this is i like how it fits and how it feels it's great thank you guys for watching let me know what you think about the project is this something you guys will try are you gonna go look for crew necks in the thrift now let me know thanks again for watching bye